<laughs> so what you're seeing here, these are the designs that uh, me and my children have done over the past couple years. A lot of fun to do, and a lot of you guys seem to like them a lot. In fact, uh, the compilation video we did, uh, me drawing 10 of my son's designs, one of my daughter's designs, that just went hit a million views for some reason. So thank you guys for that. And since today is Father's Day, when uh, this video is coming out, I thought it'd be fun to do another uh, kid's design, dad's drawing video. So in this video, I'm going to be taking one of my daughter's designs and one of my son's designs. I'm going to redraw them in a Marvel style and hopefully all of you will enjoy it. Make sure you stay till the end to see my son's reaction. So this is the first one we're going to do, uh, drawn by my daughter over here. And this is an interesting one, okay? She told me that this particular character here, uh, she turns into a pile of jello, okay? <laughs> there at the bottom. So you see there jello holding a big lollipop. And I thought that was actually a very interesting idea. And I said to her, okay, what if uh, this character, she was always jello? All right, so that uh, so her form, her skin, it's all jello-like, and that would be interesting. You know, like you could uh, shoot something at her, it would go all the way through her. Uh, you know, um, she could morph and she could uh, change shape and all this kind of stuff. And we thought that would be a fun idea. So I'm not going to concentrate on the actual jello pile, but actually her, and I thought it would be fun to turn her into jello. Okay, and that's where we got the name. Uh, jelly Tina, gelatina. <laughs> That's where we came from. <laughs> and with all of these things, like all of all of them could change, the names could change, and all of this. So I thought this would be a lot of fun to do. So with the eyes, I thought it would be interesting since uh, you know she just uh, pretty much did dots for the eyes. But what if her eyes were blacked out? I thought this would be a good opportunity to take one of my daughter's characters and turn them into villain characters. Usually, when she designs something. It's usually like a, a princess or a, a warrior, a warrior fighter, um, female warrior fighter, and I thought it'd be fun to have a really, um, I won't say scary, but a good villain, and I think this could be a really good villain. I thought it was cool since the, the jello part of her drawing here, and she has a, um, uh, what's it called, a big lollipop, so I thought it'd be fun to have like this big giant uh, lollipop that you would use to hit people with, a very, very cool weapon. I, I thought that would be a lot of fun. And the hair, she wanted like the two pigtails, and then the way her drawing is, the hair is really, really long, so I wanted the hair to come down and, and really be a focus of the character, having a little bit of uh, blonde highlights in there because I thought I had a lot of red already going on, so I thought, okay, maybe what if I made the hair a little bit blonde? And I thought it was a lot of fun. Too. So there it is, uh, AKA Jelly Tina. That's what we'll call it for now. Probably change her name a little later on. Um, I was really liking this. I thought it looked pretty, pretty cool, but uh, to make it even more cool and to sell the Jello idea, uh, it's time to do some color. But the biggest difference between uh, this drawing and her drawing is I'm actually gonna make her all red, red Jello. Um, red gel gelatin, maybe I'll take the brand name out. <laughs> but then also color it, uh, very similar colors to what she has already. And uh, I, I personally really like this character, a welcome addition to uh, the MCC. So the next drawing is a drawing by my son, and my son, it's kind of like me, likes the detail, <laughs> he's adding a lot of detail here. <laughs> so a lot of things, a lot of things going on in this particular drawing here, and a lot of interesting things. He likes to take things, a lot of different uh, uh, details and, and throw them against the wall here, and I thought it was very interesting that this character had a squid arm going, and uh, you know, a, a, a very interesting, interesting alien type face, though I think I might try to humanize it just a little bit more. So a lot of things going on. So the first thing I thought to myself when I uh, first saw this uh, design was, it's going to take a while. <laughs> So 
So starting off with the head here, so, you know, I'm, I didn't know whether to make it more like he was kind of like uh, burned, like a um, like a Deadpool type, type feel uh, with the human eye side, or should I make it just wrinkly like old, or should I make it more alien-like? So I tried to do a little bit of a combination of the three. It's one of those things where I try to keep you guessing. You guess how his face got there, and eventually I will come up with a story for it, but uh, I, I thought that was pretty cool. Also, it's nice to have that helmet on the other side there. Again, very um, uh, Phantom of the Opera-like, uh, while you would have one on one side and one on the other side. So one little difference I did on the head here was I added a little bit of metal uh, girding on the side there to connect to the helmet. Uh, that way um, I would have a reason to have the extra uh, blade coming out on the side of his head. Drawing this body scared me because <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Now, my son did tell me that it is mostly armor, okay? So it's not like a, a latex uh, outfit here. He wanted it to be more armor-like, so I wanted to have that sort of armorish feel to it. Not going too Iron Man with it, but making it feel more like body armor as opposed to um, like a latex outfit. So many fun details in here, especially that uh, that uh, tentacle arm that he's got there, like a like it's a squid arm or or uh, octopus, like an octopus arm. So this character could have some really really fun origins. I just gotta figure what out what that is. <laughs> All in all, a fun character to design and draw, and uh, my son did a really great job designing this particular character here. Uh, right now, as of right now, we're going by the name Tenti Cal. That's what we're looking at. <laughs> but most likely that name will change over time as we develop more of this character. But uh, lo again, a lot, a lot of fun to draw and a very welcome addition to our MCCU. here tried to stay as true uh, to the colors that my son did here even when it came to the little details I had to you know uh, change things up just a little bit but for the most part I tried to keep the colors uh, almost exactly the same and I think it worked out pretty well. So here it is, my son's design, my daughter's design, both welcome addition, but how do they look in our MCC universe? Well, we're gonna find out right now. And here it is, my uh, children's designs, full universe so far, a lot of fun characters, and I thank you guys for liking all the characters we've been coming up uh, with together. Uh, we're going to do this more regularly. I know the last uh, video I've done of this has been a few months ago, but I would like to do this uh, once, at least once or twice a week even, uh, just because they're a lot of fun to do and all of you seem to enjoy me doing them. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below and uh, we'll be doing more of these. Definitely be doing more of these. But I know while you guys are still here, you want to see how my son reacts to these new additions of the MCCU, how his new uh, character looks. He hasn't seen it yet and we're going to see his reaction right now.
Happy Father's Day, Dad! Thanks, son, and thank you for the drawings you and your sister gave to me today. I decided to redraw them for you. Oh, you made a new one? You haven't done one of those in so long, Dad. Yeah, yeah, and they're already done. Why don't we take a look at your sister's first? My sister's? Yeah, come on, it'll be fun. I think you'll like it. Oh, that one? Yes, that one, that's the one, that's the one, the jello one. Yeah, it's all right. Well, how about yours? Oh, you did one of mine, too? So remember, I did this one. You did that one? That's a tough one. I think you'll like what I did with this one. Whoa, very cool, Dad. You like it? That's really cool, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, awesome. So I took both yours and your sister's, and I put it together with all of your other characters. And here it is. Whoa, very, very <laughs> cool, Dad. <laughs> That's cool, Dad. Great. Do more for me later on. We'll do at least one a week, all right? I'm going to make you a lot more drawings. Did you know you look exactly like me? 